Hi guys, uh, I'm Natalie and uh, I'm just going to talk you through my mentoring philosophy. Um, got some keywords here on the board which hopefully will come, in, come out within the video. Um, but ultimately I'm going to link my philosophy to uh, my formation here, my 433. Um, I think for me as a mentor it's really important that we have that you know, that almost that goalkeeper figure who's kind of always there, um, always gives really important information but isn't necessarily always used. Um, moving forward into our centre-backs, I think with your centre-backs you always know what you're going to get. Um, trusty members of the squad, simple but effective I'd like to say and I think it's important that within mentoring you, ha you have those kind of fallback bits of knowledge that you can always rely on. So I'd always encourage coaches to, to have a backup plan um, to almost you know use what they know and build upon that. Don't don't neglect it. Don't forget it. Fullbacks, you know these fullbacks are disciplined. Um, they know how to work off each other, and I think that's almost how you know I see the mentoring relationship working. If the mentee goes and tries things, you know it's important that I kind of tuck in and support them. You know to let them go and flourish and try things, and, and when they need a rest or they need some support, you know that's when it's my turn to kind of step in as the mentor. I see that midfield free as the mentoring kind of relationship. Um, always rotating, always sharing the workload um, and having the capabilities to both attack, both defend um, but just ultimately be there to support each other. If we look at our wide players, they kind of have freedom to go wherever they want and I think as a mentor it's, it's really important that we encourage coaches to go and explore, to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes. Um, I do genuinely think that's when the best learning happens. Um, and then finally our trusty centre forward, um, Ruthless, somebody who always takes chances. So I want to encourage my mentee to to take chances and try things and put their own spin on things. I think what you've got as well with a talented group of players is, is adaptability. And I think as a mentor, you know, you've got to adapt to different positions, you've got to adapt to different coaching styles, different people. Um, likewise, I think this whole team ethos, kind of this togetherness really underpins my philosophy. Um, it's a reciprocal process and I think the mentor and the mentee can both learn from each other and that's, that's crucial.